Hey guys, welcome back to another video in InfoSec Pad. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Granny on Hack the Box. It is a retired machine. So we're going to do a full walkthrough on this machine. I have done this box already, I believe. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun box. What we're going to be learning is about exploiting IIS on uh, uh, IIS web server. So we have our IP address here. Once you have the machine booted up and started, you should get your IP address and you can notate that anywhere you like so you have that for future reference. Okay, so I did do a scan already. So you see here I'm in my granny directory. So if I do an ls, I have granny.txt. If I cat granny.txt, we can see my results here. The only thing that's open is port 80. So that, that end map only re, uh, reveals port 80 that's open and which is an IIS web server. You see that? So we can see it's running IIS 6.0. So what I would do, you know, we can try to go to the web server itself and see what's out there. Let's go ahead and give that a go. Let's go, let's copy this and just go out to the web server itself. And obviously there's nothing there. As you can see here, it says under construction. So there's not much we can do. All right, so we'll minimize that. What I'll do now, I can just clear this. And before I clear it, I'm just gonna go, I, I'll just clear it, it doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do is, is search exploit. And what I'm gonna do is search exploit, I'm gonna do IIS 6.0 because that's the version it's running, right? So we have some exploits out here. You can also go out on the internet and search the exploits as well on exploit.db and all that good stuff. So if I remember correctly, the, the, vulnerable, the, the vulnerability and the exploit that's gonna work is the remote buffer overflow. And that's what we're gonna go ahead and do and try in this video. So what I wanna go ahead and do is go ahead and copy the SU storage path from URL. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And you can also just put this in a, in a, uh, in a Word, Word document just so you can notate it for, for notes later. But I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. That's, that's perfectly fine with me. What I wanna do is clear this out and I wanna go ahead and start up Metasploit. So I wanna start up my Metasploit to see if we can find anything that has to do with the SC storage path from URL. Now we have Metasploit open, we can search that. Let me paste what I copied and see what's out there. So we have this one exploit out here, right? You see that exploit windows is is underscore web dev underscore uh, SC storage path from URL, okay? So what I wanna do here is I wanna use zero and then I have that, let me clear this out so we can start from the top. So now we, we're inside this exploit, right? So what we can do is do show options and see what options we have available to us, right? So we have to put in some parameters. So the, the, the payload is already loaded by default. If your payload is not loaded, you can do set payload, windows, interpreter, reverse TCP. Okay, reverse underscore TCP. So let's go ahead and just do the L host and the R host and all that good stuff. So let's do, let me open up another, let me open up one quick second. Let, let me do an if config to see what my local IP is. And it's 10.10.17.140 uh, .10 in my case. So I wanna go ahead and copy this. And the reason why I'm doing tunnel zero is because I'm VPN into hack the box machine. You will not be using your local ethernet or Wi-Fi interface for this, okay? So let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's go here, let's go set L host and then paste that L host. Okay, so now we see L host, oh, did I uh, copy the wrong one? Let me go back for a second, I think I copied the wrong one. Do if config. Let's copy this one more time. Copy. 
in. Let's go paste this. Let's do a hit up arrow. That's not going to be my local host. Let's paste this in. There we go. There we go. Now we can do show options. And now we can see the local host has been changed. Okay. So the R host is going to be our machine that we're trying to target, which in our case, in my case, it's going to be 10.129.192.84. Okay. So let's go ahead and do set R host. And it's 10.129.192.84. Perfect. Do show options again. And we can just make sure everything is good to go. So 129, 192, okay, perfect, perfect, 80. All right, so I think we should be good to go. Let's just hit exploit and see if we can get a shell. Okay, we'll give this a moment. We'll give that a second to do its thing. So now it's sending the stage. So it's sending that data. Session one, open. So it looks like we're able to get a session. We'll give it a second to go to the interpreter session, and then we can do like a sysinfo, for an example, to see if it gives us the information for granny. Let's just see. There we go. Now let's do sysinfo, and bada bing, bada boom. Now we're in that machine, okay? So what we would have to do now, we would have to do some privilege escalation. We would have to escalate the permissions to an admin account because right now we don't have any admin privileges, right? So there's multiple ways to do this. Since we're inside the interpreter, we can use, uh, we can go out to the internet. I, I, I know the, the, the post exploitation module that we can utilize, but if you don't, you can just Google it and you, know, you can go from there. So since we're in here, we're gonna go ahead and run. So, so you type in run, you can do multi, Okay, perfect, so it does, so recon, I guess not, let me just type it out then, local, I think it's local underscore exploit, underscore suggester, sorry, I, I can't really type and talk at the same time, so let's go ahead and run this really quick to see if we're able to collect that data. Okay, so once this is able to collect the local exploits that's available, we can look at the list and see if we have any luck. Okay, so I want to take a drink of my tea while that does its thing. Sometimes this can take a few seconds. We'll just give it a few moments. All right, so it looks like it's doing its thing. So it's checking a few out. And you see where it has the plus signs, we see that we have some available exploits. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we can utilize which one looks best for us, right? So what I wanna do is Look at all six exploits here, and we're gonna use the kernel exploit. So let's go ahead and give that a shot, okay? All right, so now let's do this really quick. What I wanna do is get the PID. So the PID is the process ID. This is gonna, so we have 2828. I'm gonna write that down on my notes here, just so I don't forget. So that's my PID. Okay, so now we can just do a process, so PS, and see all the processes that are running. And then what we're going to do is we have to merge and migrate, excuse me, the current PID to, to a process that has escalated permissions, right? So in this case, I want to look at what I have here. So let's go ahead... I'm just looking at these, sorry. So data. So I want to merge it to 20, uh, 20, uh, 2084, okay? So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Let's try to give that a go. Let's do migrate. 
And then I'm going to do it to 2084. Okay, now it's migrating that. Let's see if this, this will work. Because now we have, okay, so the migration was complete. So now what we can do is we can background this, right? We can use the background and we can put this in the background and then we can utilize what's up here to our advantage now. So let's give this a shot. So let's just go background. If I can spell background. Am I spelling it right? Oh my God, N. G R O U N D. All right, so now we have background session one, okay? So now what we can do is utilize the exploit that we're gonna use, which is all the way up here. Let's go back up, 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 where is it? Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and, th this service is running. So I wanna go ahead and use this. Copy. Let's go all the way back down. And let me get this out of the way. All right, so I wanna go ahead and use this exploit. Okay. All right, perfect. So now it's utilizing that. So now what we can do is set the payload and then we can set session. So the session is gonna be one. So set. Session, session one, All right? So session one is set. And then what we have to do is set the local host and then we have to exploit, okay? So let's do set L host and I don't remember my L host. So let's go ahead and go back here, copy this, minimize and paste. Let's try that again. Whoopsies. Copy. Paste. Paste. What the hell is going on? Hold on. Let me give this one more shot. I'm not sure why it's not copying. Copy. Let's try this one more time. Oh my god. All right. Let me just type it. Let me just do this, if config here. And then I want to do set local host 10.10.17.140. Okay, so now let's exploit this and let's see if we get a session. And we should hopefully escalate the permissions. So it looks like we might be golden. Let's see, now we can just do get UID and boom, we are in, okay? So now we have escalated our permissions to the highest level on the Windows system. So now what we can do is look at, look at the flags because we have to capture the flags, right? So since we're in, since we're on this box now, what we can do is do a search for, uh, normally the, the, on the hack the box, there's a user flag and a root flag. So what we can do is search dash F, user.txt, okay? So it shows us where the location is for that, for the first flag. So what we can do is copy this. Let's see if we can actually copy it. So I don't have to type all that out. And we can cat. And let's see if we can paste this, perfect. And then let's go ahead and close this out. Okay, so let's go ahead and cat that out. And right here is the flag, number one. So we can copy this, whoops, copy. And let's go to hack the box, submit a flag, paste, and let's say three. Okay, flag accepted. Okay, I never did this box then, I'm sorry. Good, that's perfect. All right, so now let's go back to our Metasploit. And go ahead, I don't know why this thing keeps coming up, because I do run my machines in VirtualBox, so that's why you see that. So the next thing we're gonna do is the same exact thing, vote now for the root, uh, root flag. So let's do search, dash F, 
root.txt. And bada bing, here it is. So we'll do that same thing, copy, and then we'll cat, we'll cat that out. And it looks like we got the flag number two. Perfect. All right, cancel that. Copy this. Let's go back and submit flag number two. And let's do three. Boom. Flag complete. Congratulations. We did it. Yay. So now since we have this done, that pretty much concludes this video. So if you guys have any questions, please like, subscribe, share, leave me any comments below or hit me up on Instagram and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Thank you so much for tuning in.